It's interesting, when it comes to picking the winners to the Oscars, most people ignore the obvious and instead go with their gut, their heart, or they find some other way. If you want to pick the winners, just see who won the Guild Awards. Odds are the actors and actresses that won the Screen Actor Guild Awards, they're going to win the Oscar in their category as well, since the same people vote both times. There isn't enough lag time between the Guild Awards and the Academy Awards for people to really change their mind. It's the same for the other awards like the Writers Guild, Directors Guild for Best Picture, the Producers Guild. While it's not 100%, if you want to win your Oscar pool, this is the way to go. And then there is the animated category. Since the general public or the academy itself seems not to take the animation category as a serious art form, most people will just assume that whatever the most popular CGI anime film released in the States will win. And sadly, it does. It is interesting that in the live action category, a film doesn't have to be a financial hit or a wide release in order to be a strong contender to win Best Picture. However, that seems to be the prerequisite for animation. So let's take a look at the anime feature film nominees. How to Train Your Dragon 2, Big Hero 6, The Box Trolls, The Tale of Princess Kaguya, and Song of the Sea. This will be how to handicap the feature length anime category. Number one. Eliminate anything that's not CGI. The only time a 2D anime film won was in 2003, and that was for Spirited Away. And while it is a great film, I believe the major reason why it won was because of the weak competition for that year. Lilo and Stitch, Ice Age, Treasure Planet, Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron. The only other non-CGI film to win was Wallace and Gromit, Curse of the Were Rabbit, and that was in 2006. And the only other films nominated that year were Tim Burton's A Corpse Bride and Howl's Moving Castle. Two, eliminate any foreign anime films. These films, 99.5% of the time, don't receive a wide release in the United States. And if it's not a hit financially in the States, the Academy won't take it seriously as a real contender. Three, Eliminate Big Hero 6. While fun, most people will agree of the two major released CGI hit films in this category, How to Train Your Dragon 2 has a deeper emotional impact with the audience than Big Hero 6. Also, if you don't want to use that as a way of a uh, process of elimination, then just take a look at this year's Annie Awards. The films that were nominated and the winners were picked by animators and the who's who of the animation industry. How to Train Your Dragon 2 won and the Lego movie lost for best animated film. And that's all I have for right now. If you found this video informative, then please check out my other videos at my YouTube channels, DR Hess, and also graphic description. Also check out my blog at www.drhess.net. Also check me out on Patreon. You can Donate as low as $1 or as much as you want. And until next time, goodbye.